Like with Scorpion Sentinel, the damage you take leading up to Roach matters a huge deal. I had to restart the pre-boss battle several times to get Cloud's starting HP on the high side. Roach is very RNG dependent, um, but if the Dice Gods favor you, it's an easy fight. Equip Cloud with an Astro Cuff to minimize any magic damage he might take. You really don't want to take the Thunder line from Roach. The damage is really high, as far as I know, uh, unavoidable. Um, and you can only sustain, at most, two Thundaras and live. Uh, when the fight begins, go ahead and put Cloud into Punish Mode and Block. Roach will either use a base to attack, cast Ice, or cast Thunder. If you're still in front of Roach, standing still, he'll tend to cast Ice more often, so just be patient. If you cast Ice, block the initial burst, and roll away. If he does a melee attack, and you're in Punish Mode and blocking, Cloud will counterattack automatically and Roach will be stunned shortly. Use that opportunity to attack with a basic attack combination and dump the ATB. You can use either Triple Slash or Braver. Braver does more damage, but Triple Slash hits much more reliably. At about 65%, Roach is going to enter Phase 2. During Phase 2, uh, his magic is still deadly, but he is much less likely to cast it. He has several melee attack changes, but they're really slow and obvious, and the answer to all of them is going to be dodge out of the way. Go ahead and be patient here. Allow Cloud's Limit Bar to fill. Don't take any unnecessary damage. Uh, don't be overambitious auto-attacking after he you know, uses his thrust move. And once Cloud's Limit Break is full, the fight's going to be over. Never gotta be careful. Never saw 